Here now are seven things to know to start your day. Number one, Illinois is now the 11th state to allow the sale of recreational marijuana. Yesterday, pot smokers formed long lines at dispensaries up and down the state to buy legal weed. State officials estimate cannabis sales could regenerate $250 million for Illinois by 2022. Number two, relative calm has been restored to the area surrounding the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad after two violent days of protest. Iranian-backed militiamen and supporters breached the wall of the compound on Tuesday, set fire and threw rocks and Molotov cocktails. The attack prompted the Pentagon to send hundreds of additional soldiers to the Middle East. Number three takes us to Australia, where at least three more people have died from raging wildfires. The fires have claimed at least 17 lives and destroyed thousands of homes. Military ships and aircrafts were sent to help ravage communities. In some areas, the flames forced people to find shelter on beaches and in shallow water. Number four, the NBA is mourning the passing of Commissioner Emeritus David Stern. He died from complications following a brain hemorrhage last month. Stern expanded the NBA over his three decades as commissioner, growing the league globally and marketing basketball as an entertainment option, not just a sporting event. Stern was 77. Number five, today will be the first official trading day of 2020 since markets were closed for the New Year's holiday. It's predicted to be a pretty quiet day with no major economic data or earnings, uh, earnings announcements expected. The Dow will open at 28,538. The Nasdaq set to open at 8,972. S&P set to open at 3,230. Number six, the world's oldest living person celebrates a birthday today. Kane Tanaka of Japan turns 117. Guinness World Records, which verified her standing, says Tanaka was born prematurely in 1903, the same year the Wright brothers achieved first flight. She's still six years shy, though, of the record for oldest person ever. And number seven, as you get out early this morning, it's not too bad out there. Look for the upper 30s to lower 40s, but we're still banking on a pretty nice warm afternoon in the tri-states.